Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. Today's clip is the third installment in a series of videos that I'm posting on the brand new DJI Mavic Mini. Now, in today's clip, I actually get to fly the quad. I've been dying to do this ever since it arrived, but it got here too late yesterday and it got dark before I could get the batteries charged. So it's the second day that I've had it. It's morning. It's a beautiful day out there. I've got batteries fully charged and I'm heading out to a field near me to put this guy up for the first time. Now I'm gonna record it. You're gonna see that first flight. We'll experience that together. I'm sure it's gonna do just fine, but to add a little bit of intrigue to this, it's actually a really windy day out there. There's bursting wind all over the place. And one of the things that I was curious about, and I'm sure you're thinking about it as well, is how does a light drone like this handle bursting wind? Because normally if a drone's really light, it gets bounced around like a ping pong ball by that wind. So I'm gonna have to see how it works. Now, again, I'm gonna record the whole thing. So when I put it up for the first time, you're gonna experience it just like I experienced it so we can see what happens with the drone. My suspicion is, based on the history I've got with DJI, understanding all their quads and flying their stuff, I'm sure that their internal telemetry control, stability control, their GPS coordination, the VIO and time of flight sensors on the bottom are gonna keep this thing rock solid, but who knows, we're gonna see together. So if I put it up and the wind takes it into the woods, then we'll, we'll know that it doesn't do well in bursting wind. But today is gonna to be all about recording some video. I'll do a little bit of setup to show you how to use the product. So if you're a new flyer, you'll have all the hints you need to actually get this thing started for the first time. But I'm also gonna record some video and show you just briefly how it flies around that field. So you get a feel for how this thing's gonna perform when you take one home charge it up, pull it out of the box, and start flying with it. So stay tuned. Now that I've unboxed it and shown you everything that comes with both kits, I'm outside on a beautiful afternoon with this field behind me that's just begging to be flown, and we're going to get this Mavic Mini airborne. Now before I do, I haven't flown this drone yet, so I have no idea how it's going to perform. I have a really windy day. There's bursting wind out here, but I thought before I put it up in the air, I would spend a couple of minutes and show you how to set the unit up. Now I know experienced flyers have their own pre-flight checklist, and you're probably going to do exactly what you do with other drones, but there are a lot of new flyers that are going to fly the Mavic Mini for the first time. I just wanted to walk through what you need to do to get it started. So I'll start with the drone. And basically the drone is in its folded position right now. And to unfold the arms, you'll start with the top arms and fold those out. Then you'll go to the bottom arms and hold the body and you'll spin those down just like that. Now the danger is don't let them snap open because that'll put extra strain on the joint. You also don't want to hold onto these arms while you're spinning those down because you can crack something. So once those arms are opened, you're good to go. I've already taken the gimbal guard off and set that aside. You don't want to discard that. You need that to put it back on when you're done flying to hold the gimbal in place. The next thing you'll do is add the battery in the back. So just open the door by popping it down like that. And the battery's got a tab on the top right here that matches up with those connections. It can really only go in one way. Slide it in until you hear it click. Hear that click? Then close that door. Make sure you close that door. That's super important. Then to turn the drone on, you'll tap that button and hold it. And once the drone makes a little bit of movement, you'll hear some mechanics inside spinning up. Then you hear that DJI sound, you're ready to go. So let me set that down over here on the landing mat. And next we'll take a look at the controller. Now the controller is really easy. You basically pop the antennas up like this and spin them flat like that. That's the position you want them, typically like that. So they're a little bit of an angle facing down field. Open up the arms and you'll need to install the cable to connect your phone. Now I've already put in the uh, iPhone cable here. You have a choice of three cables, micro USB, USB-C or iPhone. I'm using an iPhone, so I put the Apple one in. Then this end of it gets connected to your phone. So I've got the phone here. Basically plug it into your phone, slide it back inside the handle and then close your phone up on the controller. Once that's done, you can turn it on. So to do it again, you'll tap it once and hold it. You'll hear it beep. Now you notice when it first starts up, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the lights are flashing. So the top lights are flashing. That means the remote controller is trying to find the drone. So it'll take a couple of seconds till it actually finds the drone and binds with the drone. You only have to do that once. Every time you fly, it'll find the same drone. So it's taken a second and there we go. So now I've got four lights on there, which means it's actually synced up with the drone and I've got plenty of power. Now I'll open up the application, which on this new drone is the DJI Fly app. So once I open that up, it'll ask me, do I want to connect to the drone? I do, and then boom, there you go. So that's what I'm seeing through the camera. Now again, I haven't flown this, so I'm real excited about this. Anytime I fly a drone for the first time, I have a routine that I go through. I'll basically take it up in the air, a couple of feet off the ground, do the elevation and declining to make sure that it can handle it fine. I'll spin it around a little bit, make sure it rotates, just to be sure that all the controls are working. This is super important if you're doing it in cold weather, because you want to give it a couple of seconds to warm up before you send it downfield. So let me spin up the rotors to do that. Pull both of these joysticks in. You can also auto launch it from here, but I like to do it manually. You'll pull them in and down. Propeller spun up, ready to go. So now I'm gonna elevate the drone. <laughs> oh man. All right, really windy day, and this thing is incredibly stable. It's shaking a little bit, but this wind is whipping through this field, so that's pretty impressive. All right, so let's try lowering it. 
higher, lower. Okay, good. Side to side, let's spin it around. Man, it's really responsive. Really responsive. All right, side to side. Good, forward and back. Okay, so everything's working. I feel very confident that it can hover. It's gonna stay in position. Now we're gonna send it downfield and away we go. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> oh man, this is fantastic. Let me start recording on this here. I'll show you what this looks like from the camera view too. All right, so I'll spin it this way. Don't wanna run into those trees over there on the first flight. That would be really embarrassing. Wow, that's really cool. It's so fast. And it's in regular mode right now. It's not in, it's not in uh, sport mode. It's just in regular mode. I don't know if you can see that with the trees or not. It's flying past us here. <laughs> just give me a minute here. I'm going to try some stuff. Oh, man, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, let's see if I can bring it back and try and land it. I don't know how this is going to go, so let's see. Again, it's my first flight, so don't hold it against me. But I'm going to try and put it right down on the edge. Let's see. Look how quick that thing is. All right, bring her down a little bit, forward a little bit. I think I'm pretty close. And you can adjust it if you need to on the way down. Oh, there's a butterfly on there. Get off there, Mr. Butterfly. Get, 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 get. Okay, all right. Boy, that messed me up. There we go, right on the edge. What do you think? Down. Pretty darn close for my first flight anyway. That's it for now. I'm going to be flying this lane like crazy over the next couple of weeks in a bunch of different locations. I'm going to put it up over water. I'm going to put it up over forest. I'm going to put it over fields like this. I'll take pictures. So stay tuned to the channel because I have so many things I want to test. I know you're going to have a million questions, so drop those in the comments below because I'm already working on the top 10 questions I think you're going to have. Things like, how far can I fly it? How noisy is it? How does it compare to other drones? What kind of pictures does it take? Is it stable in really heavy winds? All those things I'm going to test, but other questions you have, drop them in the comments below and we'll get to them. Now stay tuned. We're Heading back, I have a few final thoughts. Okay, slight change in plans. I know I said I was going to head back and give you some final thoughts on how this product performed after its initial flight, but the honest truth is I'm having so much fun flying this thing that I ran back home, I topped off the batteries, I changed my clothes, and I'm heading back out to film a lot of locations around my house. I'll fly over lakes, I'll fly over fields, I'll take some pictures from 100 feet up, and I'll blend all those together so you can get a real good feel for how this thing performs when it's up in the air. You can judge the quality of the video and the pictures, and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. So stay tuned.
I hope you enjoyed that content. And after watching those videos, if you don't feel an overwhelming urge to run out today and pick up one of these Mavic Minis and start flying, I don't know what to tell you, because this thing is a ton of fun in the air. Now, those videos you saw and the pictures I took have not been enhanced. I've done nothing in post to crank up the chroma or sharpness. There were no filters used on the quad. There weren't even filters out for it yet. So what you saw there was footage that I recorded on the quad, just like you'll record it right out of the box. So I'm pretty impressed with that footage. I think it compares really well to all the quads that I take with me now when I travel. And honestly, because of the size and portability of this, I'm gonna take this instead of those other quads. Now, it's not quite as good as a Mavic 2 that records with a one inch sensor and 4K footage, but let's be honest, most people that record in 4K either render it down to 1080p, or if they're rendering in 4K, true 4K, most people can't view it at 4K anyway because their monitors aren't high enough resolution. So for me, 1080p is fine. If I need a little extra video to work with that I can crop down later, I'll go with 2.7K. But to my eye, those videos were amazing for a quad this size. Now let me talk a little bit about the flight characteristics as well, because I know the two questions you're going to have are, how does it handle the wind, how stable is it, and how responsive is it? So let's talk about the responsive aspects of it first. One of the things that got me back out in that field, I was going to come back here and do a final uh, conclusion about this and some final thoughts. One of the things that got me back out in the field that day was I could not get over how responsive the quad was. Because normally Wi-Fi quads, even enhanced Wi-Fi quads, can have a little bit of delay between your stick movements and what the quad's doing. And that can be dangerous because if you're out in the field and you're flying around trees, you want to make sure that when you say to do something, the quad actually responds to it. A lot of the other quads on the market, especially in a price class close to this one, are sloppy in the air. And what I mean by that is you tell it to do something, there may be a millisecond or microsecond delay for the thing to actually respond. And on this one, I couldn't tell. I, when I hit the sticks, it moved and it moved quickly. The other thing is it's not sloppy when it's starting and it's stopping. A lot of the other quads, when you fly somewhere and you take your fingers off the joystick to stop it, they'll slide through that stop. This one was pinpoint stop. So when I pulled the joysticks, pulled my thumbs off the joysticks, it went to where I said to go and it stopped. It spun quickly, it was stable. Everything about it was just a pleasure to fly. It's just so much fun up in the air. And I hate to call it sexy, but it was really a sexy quad to fly. It's, it's smooth in the air, it's buttery smooth, and all that stuff comes from the years of development DJI's put into their control software, their control electronics, their motors. Again, these are brand new half-height motors that were built for this product specifically. I'm sure the electronic speed controls that are inside, they're fine-tuned for the motors. So what I'm getting at is, this is a fairly inexpensive quad when you think about the cost of quads in this class, and I think they've done a phenomenal job in building a quad that's responsive, that takes really good video, and is really a whole lot of fun to fly. The last thing I'll talk about was stability, because that's one thing that worried me. Being as light as it is, typically light quads don't do well when there's gusting wind. So it's okay if there's a strong wind because it can get its bearings, but if it's a gusting wind, it has a hard time adjusting and keep its position in three-dimensional space. So I took it out, and it was a really windy day on a big field. So I thought, okay, here's where the trouble's going to start. Now, I've got another clip I'm working on that shows you the exact comparisons of a camera focused on the quad that, by the way, is going like this, right, in the air, and the video the quad's actually taken. You're going to be blown away by the fact that that video from the quad is rock solid. So you're going to look at a horizon. I focus on horizon. It's not tilting. It's not jumping around. It's not moving at all. I would have put up with a little bit of jitter in the video, but it's rock solid. So their telemetry, their stabilization functionality, everything I care about is built into this quad. So for me, from an engineering perspective, this thing's a home run. And I'll put clips together to show you exactly what the stability looks like in those windy days. But if you're out there looking for a quad today, maybe it's your first quad or maybe you need a quad to take with you when you travel, at this price point, man, you're not going to find anything close to it. And I can tell you that because I test tons and tons of quads. And most of the time, you don't see me doing clips on the channel because they brag about what a quad can do. I bring it in, I put it up in the air, and it just doesn't work. And this one, they didn't brag. They just said, hey, test it. I brought it in and it works. It's fantastic. So for me, this is a home run. And that's pretty much all I had today for this clip. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I've got an entire series of Mavic Mini clips coming. This is the third in a series. I think I have nine or 10 that I've started already. So if you're interested in this quad, I've got all kinds of testing I'm gonna do on it to make sure you get all the valuable information you need to understand exactly what the quad can provide. Because one of the things I love to do in this channel is to try out new things and explain why they excite me, and hopefully you'll understand it's something you may want to add to your kit. And this, to me, is the quad to own right now. It's really, it's a new class of quad, it's ultralight, but it's not 
simple. It's a very complex quad that's incredibly easy to fly. So if you're a new flyer and you're thinking, oh, quads are complicated, this is super easy to fly. And they built in a lot of automated features where you can do all those glamour shots, if you will, from the sky, the helix and the drone and all the other things that the quad will do just at the push of a button. So the first time you fly it, you can be a master cinematographer up in the air by using a quad like this. So for me, everything, everything clicks on this and it's definitely a good buy. All right, so last thing I'll say is, I've mentioned this in the other clips, if you are gonna buy this product, we would appreciate you supporting the channel. There's a link below, if you click that, it'll take you to the DJI site. We get a little credit from DJI for sending you over there, but that'll support the channel. We really appreciate that. I also have clips coming where I'm gonna talk about accessories you may wanna add to your kit to enhance your flying in the Mavic Mini. Some of those are Drone Valley exclusive that were built by us and designed by us, and I'll put links below to take you to the page and you can review all that stuff. If you have any questions about anything I've covered in this clip or the other two clips, drop them in the comments below. I read those comments, I answer them as quickly as I can, and I'm more than happy to help you feel comfortable about flying and understand better what this quad can provide. So thanks an awful lot for watching, and until next time, happy flying. Mm -hmm.